Are you fucking serious? No, really. Are you absolutely serious? There is no reason for the Hulk to move that goddamn slow. Seriously, the pacing of this pilot, this 95-minute pilot for the Bill Bixby Hulk series is too slow-paced. It's 95 minutes long. What the fuck, first of all. Is it going to fall? Hold on. There we go. I'm doing something with my tapes, as you can tell. Yeah, um... I just gotta say, the pacing is so slow, it nearly put me to sleep. It took me forever to finally get through that. And I watched it twice in my entire life, that was the second time. My only hope is that the episode Married isn't, you know, as bad. Oh, trust me, we will get to that one at some point. But not this one. Because, thank God that this is the end of Hulk Month. Seriously, just thank you, God, that this is the end. Of Hulk Month, because you have to be, like, on fucking Mars, you would be so fucking gone. Because you have no real plot, you have no real character development. This, this pilot movie gets it completely wrong. It gets everything wrong. The pacing, the tone, the atmosphere, the, the heroicness, bringing a lifelong dream to life. I'm wearing my green, sh green shirt for the last time, and... You can already see in the thumbnail that I'm not too happy about this one. So yeah. You can probably tell that I don't like this any. Not very much. This would be, well, I'm just going to come right out and say it. It's worse than the 2003 Hulk film. Oh yeah, I'm going there. Sorry that it's not that bright. You can't really make out this face. It's really bright back here, as opposed to the TV, but... See, um, I took the light shade up here. I took it off the other night to clean it out. There were so many dead bugs in there. It's thundering again. It's raining. It's springtime, so might as well rain. But let me just say, if you're going to develop your characters, then do that. If you're going to try to make a pilot to the Incredible Hulk, then do that. I mean, we have an animated series, which I will get to in the future, but I have no possible way of seeing that. And I want to review that. I saw one full episode of that. Um, and it's been years since I've seen it. Years. Ten, to be exact. An entire decade. In fact, no, eleven years. It's been eleven years now, over a decade, since I've seen an episode from the animated series. And that has better character development, has a lot more effort, a lot more more well-paced well kind of action. Um, the settings are nice, uh, a lot better. Uh, the time, uh, you see, the Hulk is literally filmed in normal motion. Lou Ferrigno plays the Hulk in this pilot. Um, and they film him in normal motion, but then they slow it down for the actual, for, for the actual thing. And I gotta ask... Why the fuck would you want that? You're slowing a superhero down to literally where he moves like this the entire time he's on screen. The reason that I'm not turning this light on is because it only has my black light bulb. See? Yeah, the bulbs are gone. I put those somewhere. Where did I put them? There's one on the VCR, if you can see it, right there. That's why it's not that bright in here. But yeah, I really, really am disappointed with this pilot. I could not be more let down than I ever have been in my entire life. And I've seen all the movies from that show. The pilot counts, because it's 95 minutes. Christ, is that long. The Incredible Hulk Returns. The Trial of the Incredible Hulk. And even the series finale, The Death of the Incredible Hulk. And all of those are fucking horrible. Horrible pacing, horrible tone, horrible atmosphere, horrible setting, horrible character development. And they do not take the fucking time to get to where they want to be. The Hulk takes too much time to move, literally, from him literally just punching someone. It takes forever. It's like a fucking snail. 
because it takes forever for them to get anywhere. If you filmed it in normal motion, like the movies that the Hulk stars in, that I will that I will go over, but I reviewed all the Hulk movies now, all of them. The theatrical ones and now this shit. Let me just say this. I am so done with Hulk for for quite some time. I'm thankful that I never have to talk about him again, maybe. But I'm never dedicating a month to him again. Because the two good reviews I did, and now the second bad review that I did on him, is just such a just such a fucking nut punch. Because what a way to end Hulk month. The video game review was supposed to be the fourth review, not the fucking third. I only did that because I ran out of time and I wanted to get videos done faster. I just got done doing a fucking Rango review, a Wonder Park review that was supposed to be up yesterday. And I cannot stress this enough. I still have a Clock Stoppers review to do. That I will actually be doing next. I wanted to do this to get Hulk Month done and out of the way. Clock Stoppers will be next. But if I lose my service before that goes up, then you guys will understand why. Seriously, if you're going to develop your characters, then do that. Don't leave us in the dark. Not to make a pun because of the room not being lit up so well. I, I should really put those bulbs in. Still, I just don't get it. Do you? I gotta go. Thanks for watching Hulk Month. God, this sucked.